The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were praised for bringing hope to each and every community you touch. Words by Jose Andres, chef and founder of World Central Kitchen, an organization which has struck a partnership with the Archuil Foundation to support communities in need by providing hot meals and food kits, were included in the newly released impact report of Meghan and Harry's non-profit. The 24-page report included a series of numbers showing the impact the partnerships struck by the foundation and its own initiatives have had during its first full year of operations. The list included 12.66 million COVID-19 vaccines procured for people around the world through the foundation's partnership with Global Citizen. It also listed the various areas of interest of the foundation, including uplifting women, building a better online world and supporting refugees from Afghanistan and Ukraine. The report also said the foundation created last year a play space built to foster community and healing in Uvalde, whose residents were scarred by the deadliest school shooting in the history of Texas in May 2022. One of the cornerstones of the foundation is also fostering communities, the report said, something Harry and Meghan's non-profit arm has done by joining forces with the World Central Kitchen. Together, the report claimed they served 50,000 meals around the world, reaching disaster hit areas and bringing communities together through food. Mr. Andres was featured in the report's page focused on the Archul partnership with the World Central Kitchen. He wrote, Harry and Meghan, my dear friends, you bring hope to each and every community you touch, always with a smile, always with empathy and through your partnership with World Central Kitchen, sometimes a hot plate of food that shows people in need how much we care. The report also featured another praise of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex by Ms. Andres, which he had been for the 2021 Time 100 special magazine. It read, Meghan and Harry turn compassion into boots through their Archul Foundation. In a world where everyone has an opinion about people they don't know, the Duke and Duchess have compassion for the people they don't know. They don't just opine. They run toward the struggle. The report included words also from other leading personalities at organizations who have joined the Archuil Foundation in partnerships, including those of Reshma Saujani, CEO of Moms First. Outlining how Archuil supported her grassroots movement championing equal pay, paid parental leave and affordable child care among other issues, the campaigner said, Archie Wells backing and the Duchess generosity in using her platform to speak out, as a mom, on behalf of mothers, has advanced our efforts to transform policy while helping millions of moms feel recognized, valued, and empowered. The report did not feature a statement by Meghan and Harry but, rather, opened with a letter from the foundation's co-executive directors, James Holt and Sean Annette. They wrote, with the leadership of the Duke and Duchess, we have cultivated strong strategic partnerships with leading organizations, invested millions of dollars across the nonprofit space for sustainable programs and campaigns, and designed a strategy centered on large and lasting community impact. While the report doesn't include a specific sum when it comes to the foundation's investments, royal correspondent Omid Scobie claimed the nonprofit raised $13 million and distributed $3 million during its first year of operation. Writing on Twitter to share the report, the royal biographer added the millions were spent on grants across areas including vaccine equity, relief centers, refugee resettlement and building a better online world. Mr. Holt and Ms. Nepp concluded the report with another personal note, saying the foundation will continue to build a better world online, work to restore trust in information, and above all, uplift communities online and offline, local and global on its third year of operations.